Hello and welcome to this video on the Insight 3800 Line Scan. In this video we will explain some of the basic principles of line scan imaging and how to get started with the Insight 3800 Line Scan. Line scan acquisition is a method of building the image of a moving object one row of pixels at a time. Since line scan acquisition builds an image line by line, only a sliver of the object you want to inspect needs to be visible at any given time to the line scan camera. As the product moves past the camera, new lines are acquired until the full image is built to reveal the full product view. This method of building an image is particularly advantageous for fast-moving or continuous parts, cylindrical parts, or large parts. Before we set up the acquisition settings, it is important to note that choosing the right lensing and lighting have a large impact on the line scan image quality, like any other imager. Choosing the right lens depends on the imager specifications and field of view requirements. Line scan lights are typically high-intensity LED bar lights that converge the light to a small width thereby increasing the intensity of the light into one line. Because the line scan imager is a single row of pixels, only a single line of light is needed. This not only minimizes the space needed to illuminate the part, but means the entire part does not need to be uniformly illuminated, just the single line being acquired. Aligning the position of the light to ensure it illuminates evenly across the whole imager line is key to setting up your line scan application. Now we will take a look at setting up the acquisition parameters. The settings under trigger in general behave in the same way as area scan cameras. However, line scan exposures are typically in the low microsecond range as opposed to millisecond range of area scan cameras since only one pixel line is being exposed at a given time. Under the line scan section on the acquisition panel, you will find several parameters which are specific to setting up line scan acquisition. Line trigger type indicates which type of encoder will be used to initiate the acquisition of each line. While the trigger signal will indicate when to start building the entire image, the encoder signal will indicate when to acquire each line in that image. With software encoder selected, no external signals need to be connected to the InSight 3800 line scan system because it uses an internal clock to provide this signal. The line period parameter is used to specify the interval in microseconds at which to acquire lines. A new line is acquired based on that time interval, regardless of the physical motion of the machinery. The software encoder is useful when the speed of the conveyor belt is consistent since no physical encoders must be installed and integrated. A hardware encoder will synchronize the line acquisition with the speed of the conveyor belt by tracking its physical motion and converting it into electric pulse. The hardware encoder option is needed to build suitable images when the speed of the conveyor belt is variable. With this option selected, the line period parameter is no longer available because the user will not be specifying a set interval to acquire lines. Instead, this interval is determined by the rate of the encoder pulses coming in. With hardware encoder selected, additional parameters are available which are not applicable to software encoders. Steps per line defines the number of encoder steps between each line acquisition. The higher the number, the more encoder pulse is needed and therefore a greater distance traveled on the conveyor belt before acquiring the next line. Encoder type defines which type of hardware encoder is being used. If a single channel encoder is being used, meaning only one encoder input wired to the device, then select single. If a quadrature encoder is used, meaning two encoder inputs wired to the device, then select quadrature. Please see the InSight 3800 line scan encoder video for more details on how to set up and choose the right hardware encoder. The direction parameter is exposed when selecting a quadrature encoder, since these encoders can provide directional information. Positive is defined as the inspected product moving from right to left, from the perspective of the camera. Negative is the opposite. Clip mode enables the user to decide what actions are taken when a new image trigger is received before the current image has completed. Since line scan builds the image line by line, if a new trigger comes in, some part of the image is complete and could be used for inspections. No clipping will process a complete frame for every trigger received and will not start a new acquisition until the existing one is complete. Overlap will repeat every line acquired after the new trigger onto the beginning of the next image. A constant frame size is retained with the end of the current image duplicated onto the beginning of the next image. Fill black fills the remaining lines in the current image with black pixels. 
A new image can be started immediately while retaining a constant frame size on the current image by filling the rest of the frame with black lines. Reduce image delivers a variable frame size based on the length of the acquisition. Acquisition duration specifies how the trigger pulse affects the length of acquisition. It is dependent on the clip mode chosen. Overlap and fill black modes use next trigger, which means image acquisition begins at the leading edge of the trigger pulse and ends at the leading edge of the next trigger signal, or when the specified number of lines have been acquired. Reduce height mode uses end of trigger, which means image acquisition begins at the leading edge of the trigger pulse and ends at the trailing edge of that same trigger pulse, or when the specified number of lines have been acquired. Encoder trigger delay applies a delay to the acquisition trigger based on encoder steps. This is useful when the camera or region of interest is downstream from the trigger sensor. Additionally, the InSight 3800 line scan is capable of queuing up to 18 triggers. Trigger queuing is necessary when there is a large gap between the trigger sensor and the camera such that many trigger signals can be generated within a given delay period. Lastly, encoder acquisition timeout defines the maximum amount of time to acquire an image in milliseconds. If the vision system does not complete image acquisition within the specified time, the vision system aborts the acquisition and issues an acquisition error. For an in-depth guide for how to use all of these line scan parameters and more, please see the InSight 3800 line scan installation guide. Thank you for watching.